A live look at the state capitol tonight. Lawmakers have sent a nearly $215 billion state budget to Governor Gavin Newsom's desk. Democrats support the spending plan that puts more money toward health care, housing, and state res reserves. Republicans criticize the plan, saying it focuses on the wrong priorities and doesn't do enough to improve basic government services. It's government, Governor Newsom's first spending plan since taking office. And some of the spending proposals, by the way, include an estimated $98 million to offer health insurance to undocumented migrants and nearly $2.5 billion for the housing and homeless crisis. The plan also uses $80 million in marijuana taxes to pay for child care for low-income parents and includes a $21 billion surplus. So with that, we bring in our CBS 13 political analyst, Gary Dietrich. Always good to see you, Gary. So Likewise. We're, we're talking surplus, so that means no higher taxes, right, to pay for the stuff? Uh, not so fast, honey. <laughs> no, not, not exactly no new high taxes, friends. But I'll tell you what people are got to be happy about down in the Capitol, and that is a surplus. When, you, when you're a new governor, the absolute last thing you want to do is come into a deficit situation. And certainly Gavin Newsom is the beneficiary of an economy, guys, that is booming along. There's lots of new state spending in this, as well as an increased reserve. Not everything the legislature wanted, but a lot more than they've gotten in the last few years, including the things we just talked about. Yeah, Gary, today the state of California used a federal judge to block the president from using a military money to build a border wall. But this just, again, once again, puts California and pits us against the Trump administration. Yeah, in fact, California and New Mexico joined together on this one, guys, to say, hey, not so fast. You want to use military dollars to build a wall? We're going to say no. They cited things like environmental problems and other issues. So once again, guys, it's the California Governor and our Attorney General versus the administration in Washington. Of course, the border wall, very controversial. This was controversial when it first came out. This whole idea is using federal uh, military money to build the wall. And now it's going to be challenged. We'll see if it holds up in court. Yeah, there have been a few lawsuits filed by the AG against the Trump administration. Couple. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, a couple dozen, actually. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Let's talk about Jessica Biel, spotted at the state capitol this week, uh, where she lobbied against legislation that would tighten medical exemptions for vaccinations. She posted a picture we're going to show you on Instagram this morning. Biel said she opposes the bill because her friends have a child with a medical condition that warrants an exemption and says the bill would affect the family's ability to care for their child. But she said she's not a so called anti vaxxer. So, Sacramento Assemblyman. Dr. Richard Pan, you know the name well, reacted to the statement saying on Twitter, promoting misinformation that discourages vaccination, defines being an anti-vaxxer. So when celebrities come to the Capitol, do they have that much sway on topics that are, that are such hot button topics like uh, the anti-vax uh, movement? That's a great question. And for the votes in the Capitol, probably not. But for the public who are interested in this issue, yes, probably. And that's, I think, really the important thing here, guys, is this, this anti-vaccine campaign, I mean, this thing has got amazing attention over the last couple right. years. It's not going away. Our own local assemblyman, Richard Pan, is the one you know who's really been moving this legislation forward regularly. And I, I don't think this is an issue that's likely to go away anytime soon. There's just so much embedded, it seems like, passion on both sides of this one expected to be around for a while. Yeah, no, when big names show up at the Capitol, I mean, we always bite. We always go, okay, well, there's a big name. Let's go see what they have to say. But One big name by the name of Schwarzenegger had a lot of impact at the Capitol. Mm. Yeah. A little yeah. while ago, he did, yeah. A little Absolutely. bit. Yeah, we'll see what happens with this, I guess. We'll see the impact after she spoke. Gary, thank you. Always good to see you. Likewise.